Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. Coming at you with another TTM Mail Week recap episode. I think this is episode either 946 or 947, something like that. I don't know, it's been a lot of episodes over the years. But I have uh, a few returns that came in this week, not as many as uh, the previous week. Um, still a good decent mail day. I've got quite a few letters that I'm hoping to send out soon so I uh, might help that uh, video making process out here in two or three weeks but I have uh, quite a few things here um, we got a failure from uh, Otis Anderson for the junk wax challenge making TT Hobbies junk wax challenge he wrote five dollars a card in there so uh, I, I guess uh, I mean, he does require that uh, I guess he didn't read my letter um, but I did you know put my letter that uh, I understand that they can't sign so um, some people uh, Warren Moon was uh, made an exception I guess um, but I guess Mr. Anderson cannot so that's all right um, figure I'd give it a shot he was in the pack and what the heck you know so um, next one we do have a return to sender from David A.R. White he is an actor uh, comedian uh, uh, he either was or might still be cons I can't remember if he's considered a pastor or if he ever was I'm not sure he, a lot of times he will play a pastor in the many Christian films or things like that like a uh, God's not dead uh, brother white um, he's been playing other movies uh, so I thought I'd try um, I guess that's not his address um, um, it could be his ex-wife address. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe that's why he's crossed out. Who knows? But uh, we'll have to try and find a new address for him and see if we can get him. Um, I guess we'll just go randomly here. Next up, we got an email request. I think I've tried at least a couple times. Never heard back. But this is Tommy Fleetwood from the UK. He's a professional golfer. And uh, he actually sent this back in a bubble mailer, which is... Uh, not, not exactly cheap to come back from the UK, so um, I thank Mr. Fleetwood for sending this. Um, we also got another email from a German politician here. This is Miss or Dr. Anne Verushka Jurish. So I had sent an email to her back in November and got this back uh, the other day. So there we go. Um, let's see what else we got here. Let me make sure. I guess I technically already showed my address earlier, but whatever. Um, we got Wyoming Governor Mark Gordon. We sent a business card that's signed in a very tiny uh, wallet size photo. Also, uh, there's a letter. Oh, I didn't realize that some of the ink bled onto the folded page. But uh, there's the signed business card, so pretty cool. It's probably a, it looks like a preprint, but hey, it's free. Why not? So all you have to do is send an email. Then we have um, this is Alan Armstrong. Um, he signed three photos. That is coming back from the. UK as well and that was TTM there's a Tamsin Merchant who I tried to write to so there's that uh, some of the signatures didn't quite turn out that great but that happens and then we got a couple 5 by 7 signed by Charlize Theron um, these are most more than likely a auto pen or secretarial um but hey figured why not give it a shot you never know there might be that that small chance that they're actually signed by the actress or actor and they actually get forwarded to them or something but most likely they are not um actually signed by her so in case you are sending there just so you're aware <laughs> um don't want to burst your bubble but um more than likely then we got actor Kevin McNally, who of course is Mr. Gibbs, 
in Pirates of the Caribbean, but this this photo is from this TV series that was on AMC for a few years, Turn, which is an interesting one about the kind of a uh, spin off of the Revolutionary War, just kind of trying to tie in spies and stuff. And maybe there's some truth to some of it, but uh, most of it was fiction. But it was interesting. And then he signed this one we're here with Jack Sparrow. And then I love the purple, it looks really cool, really pops. So I don't know if it really comes across for you guys on the camera side, but I thought it was really cool. And I am filming late at night, so I do apologize um, the shadows um, from the camera stand, but I hope, hope you don't mind. Then what do we got here? We got Mr. Brennard Wilson from the Philadelphia Eagles, played in the 70s. He was a defensive back. He signed a 5x7 photo. He's pictured there with Marion Campbell. And if Marion Campbell was still around, I'd definitely send that off to him. But he has sadly passed away uh, probably about five or six years ago now. And then we do actually have a success for the Junk Wax Challenge. We got Mr. Mike Harden on the 1994 football. So I believe that brings me up to like seven or eight successes. And then we got a couple failures. So that's pretty cool. And then we got Mr. Clark Kellogg, who was a former basketball player and current broadcaster. Uh, you'll hear him on the uh, NBA 2K games as well. He signed one of the photos I sent him. And also just wrote a nice uh, personal note on my letter, which is really cool of him. So thank you, Mr. Kellogg, for that. put this underneath so it doesn't accidentally get lost or something and then we got an email success which sometimes this actor does send out email requests um, but most of the time he's usually um, send like a self-addressed envelope and they'll send a photo back or send your photos in he'll sign them uh, this is actor Mark Harmon he was also a college football player for UCLA but more uh, well known, obviously, is playing in NCIS. And this was an email. So. so that was pretty cool. And then they did include, I don't normally share on video anymore the addresses like that um, people are sending back from just for their privacy sake and um, just issues with YouTube privacy issues. So um, just to further. Um, not like getting any strikes or something on my videos. I usually don't do that. And then also I'm usually getting these addresses from a paid website, which can also um, cause problems when you're just handing those out. So um, that's one reason. But uh, they did include this, so I assume it's okay probably to show this one. Um, I'm sure they want this actually to be seen so you know the sent to. So that's the new address if you want to write to Mr. Mark Harmon. So. Um, in case you're curious there. Then I think... Okay, those are just empty, I believe. And then we got a couple Christmas cards here. So you already saw Buddy the Elf card right there. Sing it loud for all to hear. This is coming back from Disguise Cards on YouTube. So definitely make sure you go check out his channel. Um, he sent, looks like, some autographs. Very cool. Got some Colorado. We got Armando Reynoso and Bill Hanzilk. I've never sent to Bill Hanzilk. I know he runs a basketball camp uh, for kids um, in the Denver area. I just have never gotten around to sending. And then I've never tried sending to Armando Reynoso. So thank you to Alfredo for sending those to me. Definitely make sure you go check out his channel down below. Um, the uh, his link to his channel will be up there at the top for you to uh, find uh, quite easily. And then we got one from Top Shelf, uh, Jeff Thompson, all the way from Canada. There's the note and picture of a caribou or reindeer. I guess it would be reindeer. 
And he included here is his custom Tops card. He's AKA Thumper. He's there with the Stanley Cup trophy. He also included a post NHL stars in action pop out of Mark Howe, who I believe is Gordy Howe's son. So very cool. I don't I don't know if Mark Howe signs, but hey, maybe if he does, maybe we can send that to him. And then we also got a goalie card. Uh, he knows I like the goalies, so it's a uh, it was like a I think these cards are like a extra like a box topper or something when you get a box. Um, this is above the ice, David Aries. He says uh, that's what I think they are a box topper, but I could be wrong. I'm not as familiar with the hockey products, so very cool. So thank you to Jeff for sending those and thinking of me this Christmas season. I do appreciate it. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, and hopefully there will be some more mail coming in this week for you and I. And uh, looking forward to catching up on videos uh, throughout the week. I think I finally got my watch later under 200. Uh, and for a while it was like over well over 300. So um, I was trying to chip away at it. So um, appreciate you guys taking time. And see you all next time. Bye.